Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to our oldies with goodies. I haven't filmed for like three days, so I'm just like trying to get back in the, the groove. You guys, I was on Sephora's website and I'm like, I've never tried the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And I know so many people love it. So I'm like, let's try it out and see if it's worth the hype, especially because the Sephora VIB sale is coming up oh this week. And I will do my recommendations video. I'm thinking of doing something different from what I usually do with the recommendations video. I have my foundation on. I have this one that I reviewed from Amazon a while ago and I forgot how good it is. It's natural, but it has good coverage, you know? For the usual, I already put my eye cream on. I use the Belief eye cream and I'm not wearing eyeshadow so you can see the coverage on my lids. And I added my foundation. As always, I always avoid the under eye area when it comes to foundation because the less product there, the better. And this concealer is supposed to be full coverage. Let's swatch it. So I have this shade Fawn. I was at Sephora. Their shades kind of jumped a lot. So I don't know if this is my shade and you know how it is with the lighting at Sephora. It's a little funky. Oh, she's thick. Oh, the shade's good actually. It's a bit of a warm undertone. So warm being a little bit on the yellow side, which is good because that will help color correct the darkness. I have purple and blue darkness. So yellow warmer concealers will do the color correcting also. We're not gonna color correct today because we wanna see how this concealer works on its own, you know? Yeah, I like this doe foot, it's little. I like this whole thing, how long it is. The further away you are from your face when it comes to brushes, the lighter weight your application of makeup is because you just kind of like doop, doop. Instead of getting close up, the closer you are, the more heavy or heavy handed you can get. Does it smell? No, but ooh, she... I'm gonna apply the concealer. On the left side, we're gonna use my favorite brush, the Sephora 71. And then on the right side, we're gonna blend it out with a sponge. And then we'll come back. And while I do that, I'll give you all the info about this product. Also popular Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer retails for $36. And the mini sizes retail for $16. It comes in 22 shades. I am in the shade Fawn and it comes in a 0.2 ounce bottle, slightly smaller than the average. This is a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with micro spheres, powders that blurs and brightens up for 16 hours of skin perfection. The coverage is full, the finish is natural. It's free of sulfates, SLS, SLES, parabens, mineral oils, and contains less than 1% of synthetic fragrance. This product is vegan and cruelty free. I purchased mine at Sephora. Okay, she <laughs> thick. I think I added too much. So on the brush side, I'm just going to blend it out with my finger because whew, it was a little, it was a little much. It's creasing. When it comes to creasing, I always say it, but it's important. It depends on like your under eyes. It depends on the type of concealer if you're gonna get creasing. For the most part, I always get creasing because I have very creasy under eyes. The thicker concealer is, and the more you place, like today we put on this eye, it's most likely going to crease because that thicker texture will just get into the creases, as well as very thin, thin formula concealers. It really depends. There are some concealers that are just really good and do not crease at all, you know? So that's just one of those. Like you can see the creasing here. This is the brush side. This is the sponge side. Dang, that's like a lot of creasing. And then let me look up so you can see. This is the brush side. This is the sponge side. It looks good in the sense that it provides coverage, but I don't see that my under eyes look smooth. Powder can help that out. Okay, and then let's see. Oh wow, the coverage though. Here's the brush. You see, you don't see the darkness coming through here versus the sponge. You see it right there. The sponge will always give us a more of a lightweight coverage because it just shears product out. Lid set with some Huda Beauty setting powder. I'm in the shade Banana Bread. We're gonna get my powder puff set both sides the same way. I don't wanna use a lot of powder. I'm seeing that this concealer is showing a lot of texture. As you can see on my lid, I'm just getting rid of the creases that have formed and this you kind of want to go fast before the creasing starts. It's kind of drying down too. So I'm gonna look straight ahead, look up and then look back down, close, tap that lid, do the same thing on the other side, look, look up, look straight ahead, 
You want to look straight ahead because that's how your eyes naturally rest. They're not naturally resting like this. And that way, your under eyes won't look super creepy, harsh, creasy. I'm not seeing anything like extraordinary for this concealer. I'll just turn off the lights because I feel like you can see it better. Here's the brush. You see how it just doesn't look smooth. It looks a little bit dry. And then the under eyes. Yeah. Maybe I think it's just too thick. Definitely a little bit goes a long way. Maybe I added too much right now. So it's okay. It's currently, what time is it? Oh, it's almost seven. I'm just going to finish up the face and then we'll come back and see. Maybe it gets better. Body warmth definitely helps makeup, you know? Familia, I'm back. I'm not feeling like I have a good makeup day today. Point blank, period. The hair's helping. I just did a hair tutorial, you guys, my first one, and it was so funny. I can't wait for you to watch it. The makeup, not even the makeup, more like the concealers. First, look at my lids. I put a little bit of bronzer and you see this texture? This is what I avoid. This is what I don't want to be so visible. This is the brush, here's the sponge. And you can just see it. This concealer does dry down. This is the swatch, it oxidizes a little too. It feels a little bit drying. Let me show you my under eyes. It looks a little better, honestly. I have a big crease there, but I'm not even gonna mess with it. This is the brush and then this is the sponge. We're creasing. You see like the creases are down there. And for the most part, when you crease after you set, typically not a good sign because one, I use setting powders that I know work. And two, I really set in where your under eye should not crease. But sometimes when the concealer's thicker or just doesn't work out, it just is gonna take over those creases and no amount of setting powder will really help. I mean, it can, you can really powder down. And I did bake actually a little bit, but I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna treat it as such. And yeah, maybe with body warmth, it will help. I do not like the lids, I just, for 30, like an almost $40 concealer, you know? My lip is the combo of Buxom High Def Honey. And what shade is this one? The Maracuja from Tarte? It's this one, I'll try to find it online. Then I'll link it down below. In daylight, it looks good. And like I said, far away, we're, we're like having a good makeup day. But let's get close. Here's the brush. Here's the sponge. The sponge, you can definitely see the sheer coverage like we've seen. But you see these creases? Let me look up so you can see. They're just like not the vibe right now. Looking at it in daylight, I'm like, okay, we have good coverage. So that's definitely not lacking. But the crepiness is. Look at my, my lids. I don't know. Hopefully it gets better. You know, you never know. Okay, Jam, I'm, I'm back. It is seven o'clock. Before we get started, I do want to show you how the under eyes were looking in daylight. And I will say this got a whole lot better throughout the day. Here on the left side is the side we blended out with the brush. We're having good coverage and you can't really see the creasing. And here on the right side, we saw that it's more of a sheer coverage, but the coverage was looking good. And here we are now, you guys. You don't see darkness peeking through. Well, maybe a little bit in the sponge area, but that does happen. The uh, concealer got a whole lot better throughout the day. I think body warmth really worked very well. The creases didn't get worse, which is what usually happens when you crease at the very beginning, but the lids, kind of look the same. I mean, maybe more creasy. We know we can't use a lot of product with this concealer. I am not mad at it because we definitely don't look gastada and you know, that's always the goal. This is it for the evening. See you mañana. Bye. I'm back day numero dos. Because we had creasing and a lot going on, let's use my under eye primer to prime the under eyes. So this primer is gonna allow the concealer, it's gonna help the concealer to not crease as much and to kind of stay put. It has this little tint that already gets rid of like the discoloration. You kind of have to work fast because it is sticky and it kind of dries down fast. I like to blend it out with my finger. You guys, is it me or this was look super messy for me using it a second time? I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm like, did I get an open one? Did I accidentally buy an open one? You know, who knows? Okay, let's go. A little bit. We're gonna do like a tiny bit. And then I won't let it sit. I let it sit yesterday. So let's just start tapping from the bottom up. Oh, actually here, our lid. 
and then like our under eyes so i'm just gonna tap this in I'm trying to be as gentle as possible i'm not the most gentle person god it's not looking good hold on do find sometimes with a brush some concealers don't work as well they just become super textury so let me just blend out with my finger it kind of has this like texture here you can't really see it let me look up it's not sitting well with that primer <laughs> my bad okay this is not really gonna work so let's go in with just nothing on the lid and under eye and see what we get because i don't know i'm just not feeling it let's blend out with the finger oh this eye is much better it's crazy because i'm using my eye cream i use all the time and i'm like is it that like that's just not mixing well that's literally never happened and i always let my eye cream sit on the skin you see this right here and let me look up yeah like it's not blending in today at all okay i need to work really quickly we're gonna get our one size powder even it out we're not gonna put a lot of powder because we're already looking real crepey scrapey so when it comes to setting powder setting powder can really fix a bad situation that you have with your creams that's the beauty of setting powder it's literally do i have my mic on it's literally like magic lids look better and it's because of the powder but you can still see that texture you see right there and listen i have texture you see right here it looks kind of inflamed and a little bit dry concealer's just not sticking well see it's like there's like a patch right there so it is seven i mean 6 45 i'm gonna finish up the face all right familia am i having a bad makeup day i am is it the second day in a row that i'm having a bad makeup day yes but it's okay i finagled i had to go in with my derma blend powder because it was not looking good the under eyes are looking better i just think that my derma blend powder is just gonna work everything out and this is the type of concealer the perfect example where derma blend just came through like you see things look a little bit better you still see that texture here which i don't like and then let me look up it looks better but i definitely think today is a worse day than yesterday so ugh. It's like today, I no lie, I was feeling a little frustrated because I'm like, okay, sometimes I feel like it's me. Like, I don't think I'm working or using this product correctly. And I just want to give you like the most in-depth review. So one, you don't have to have two bad makeup days in a row. And three, you know, so we get to know the product. But anyway, this is it. Let's go outside. And this is my lip combo, my usual stone and then high def honey from Buxom. One thing's gonna go well is gonna be my lip color and my eyeliner, my Fenty eyeliner. But yeah, okay, bye. In front of daylight, this is the one with the primer. It doesn't look that bad, huh? In daylight. And then here's the one with nothing. Looking a little rough. I see creases there and that darkness peeking through. But also it's kind of hard to say because we applied it with a brush and then had to finagle with our fingers and the sponge actually i'm not that mad it looks pretty good okay ciao hello familia okay so 520 i cannot handle these under eyes anymore because they look a hot mess i just got some footage literally five minutes ago because the sun is still out so i want to show you how the under eyes look and you guys just not good the primer side looks better but it doesn't look great Definitely the, the primer I did see throughout the day, it's like holding things together versus no primer. Like where'd the coverage go? And I'm just really bummed. This just does not work for me at all. Cause look, we look up, you can see every single crease imaginable. There's some fading, but it's kind of cakey. Here's just faded and hasn't been looking good all day. And like the lids, it's pretty much gone. I've never had a concealer like to act this bad. <laughs> so this is definitely a no for me. I look gastada today, legit. Like my under eyes are different. Like why aren't they matching? <laughs> Anytime I don't like a product, I like to recommend a product that is very similar, but better. LYS has the same sort of actually packaging. The Dofa is tiny, tiny, and it is full coverage, but just not heavy like this one. And this one, I just find it's more hydrating. This one does dry down completely. Maybe the best way to use it is probably without setting powder, but we even saw before we set it, it was just looking a mess in there. 
So yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed these two days. Let me know. Do you like this? Do you use it? Is it your holy grail? And I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!